Today I'm exploring J.P. Coleman State Park in Iuka. Check this out. This is why people come here. The Tennessee River. Some of the best bass fishing in the world is right here. I came here and fished a tournament a long time ago. Hey, if you think you have 17 pounds and you're going to win the tournament, guess what? You're wrong. You need at least 25 pounds here. Look how pretty that is. Look at this spot right here. This would be perfect to have a wedding. Look at that view. I actually think they do have weddings here. kids playground and a campground and uh, I'm gonna show, show you all that but uh, mainly people come here is for the fishing so if you're gonna come stay here I would recommend you bring a boat Let's go check out the marina real quick they have a big boat ramp they hold a lot of big tournaments here at this marina is kind of scaring me it's like hissing at me what is it I ain't gonna bother you marking his territory I guess they have three or four big boat hangers back here Looks like they're really nice too expensive machinery in there got some very expensive boats wonder what they do for a living here's where you can come watch the fish weigh-ins and then we got a place for you to sit right here. Here's like the big lodge that you can stay at. Uh, you can rent rooms here. I know they have like tents and cabins and RV spots and everything here. You got a nice little playground here for your kids. That's the only one I've seen. I think they have a pool here also that you can use but I think it's at that big lodge back there that I showed you pretty sure it would be there look at this they got a mini golf course in the middle of the woods that is very random I don't know where you get the balls at I'm assuming you can rent it all at the lodge up there may want to bring a leaf blower doesn't look too hard I could get a hole in one on every one of these probably. <laughs> I suck at mini golf. Hey, it'd be fun for the kids though. They would like it. It's kind of shaded too. It's out here in the middle of nowhere though. Oh, I haven't seen any trails that I could walk, but I'm gonna drive down towards the campground area and uh, we'll see if there's anything down there. It is uh Thursday around 12:30, and there's a ton of people here fishing they must have all skipped work and come up here to fish I don't blame them hey sounds fun to me I'll tell you what bass fishermen are some of the nicest people that you're gonna meet some of my buddies that bass fish they would drop everything they had going on drive an hour to come help you out if you had problems park rangers stalking me people Probably wondering what the heck is they doing out here. Looks like they got these cabins right here that you can rent. Pretty nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna drive around the park and see what we can see here. Another cabin. The thing about a state park is the accommodations are pretty cheap. So plenty of lodging here. They have a business retreat center. You can call for reservations. I ain't never had no business wanting to take me to a retreat. Psh. Working for the wrong place, I guess. I work for myself, so. I'm retreating right now, guys. Check this camp spot out. This will be a pretty spot to camp. Got the lake behind you right here. Got a nice little picnic area down there. how much these camp spots are but can't be that much 
It's like they got a bunch of these tents you can rent also. They're right by the water. Man, you could fish off that deck right there. It's so close to the water. When I say this is one of the best bass fishing lakes in the country, I'm not joking. You can do your own research, okay? Hey, the elites come here. Bassmaster, MLF, all them people. So, I'd like to go fishing with them pros one time. That'd be fun. They have like fishing guide services too that you can rent. Um, they're pretty pricey, but hey, you only live once, you know? If you want to come out here and you've never been to this lake, you may want to get a guide, okay? They know where all the honey holes are. Hey, I got a question. What's up with all the airstreams? I bet there's 20 airstreams here. I got you a nice bathroom here. Got a bathroom right beside the campground. So they have a church up here or something. Go check it out. This is the only hiking trail I've seen, so we're gonna go check it out. A church in the middle of the woods. They don't have much hiking, okay? They have plenty of roads that you can walk down, but what is this? Look at this. They have an outdoor church. Huh. Well, that's nice. I want to know what's up with all the airstreams. Look at all the airstreams. <laughs> that's got to be the parks. We got an airstream convention going on here. I bet you anything that's the park. Hey, if it is, man, they spent some money on those suckers. Those airstreams are expensive. Got you a sewage station here. The water is not to be used for drinking. Don't have to worry about that. I've been trying to talk the wife into uh, letting us buy a camper. It's not going very well. Check out this view. Looks like, they got a, looks like they got a new dock right here. Bet you there's a big bass right there in that corner. I wonder how much those uh, sloughs are to rent a month. Whew. I bet they're pretty pricey. If you're on a boat that can fit in them sloughs, you probably can afford it. Man, we got that mail carrier coming through here. Whew. Lightning fast. It's not about the speed limit, people. Check this little spot out. This is like the main road to the park and you have to cross this creek when you come in. Well, that concludes our tour of Jeffy Coleman State Park. If you want to do some bass fishing, this is the park for you. Hey, thank you and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.